For this mask, you may use cotton, polycotton, and polyester for the outer material. These materials can be found in fabric shops, Walmart, online, or you could simply buy bed sheets. The embroidery backing can be found on Amazon. You should look up cutaway medium weight embroidery backing. This is the inner layer that we are using in this video, but we will soon come out with another video explaining the different inner layers that you can use. You can also find all of the materials and more information on our website under COVID-19. Our website will be linked below. The pattern for this mask can also be found on our website linked below. There are multiple sizes, so please ensure that you choose the correct size for your face. Today we will be showing that you do not need a sewing machine to have a safe and comfortable mask. All you need is a needle and thread. If you do owe a sewing machine, please use it for maximum efficiency. Once the embroidery backing is cut to size, turn one of your outer material layers in so that the patterns are touching. This will make sure that the finished product has a desired look. Make sure you are pinning your layers together so that the fabrics can be aligned when you are sewing. Now, to begin the sewing process. Again, Grandma Yuan is showing how to do this by hand, but by all means, please use a sewing machine if you have one. You will first create a border along the rim of the fabrics with a 1 4th inch seam allowance. Please leave a gap unsewn so that the mask can be flipped inside out. If sewing by hand, use a back stitch to complete this step. Now, cut the corners of the fabric. mask inside out, making sure that all of the edges are as crisp as possible. Now, fold in the open edges so when sewn, there is no raw seam. Sew along the gap. Now, fold hot dog style so that the flaps measure 4.5 centimeters for the medium size and 5.5 centimeters for the larger size. Sew along the edge. And now repeat this on the other side. Now fold triangles so that the top edge of the mask can form a right triangle with the side of the edge. Pin and repeat on other sides. Now, sew like so. What makes our masks different is the embroidery backing is the inner layer. Not only does the embroidery backing serve as a filter, but it also adds structure to the mask, which prevents the mask from collapsing when breathing, which increases the comfort of the mask. In fact, the mask is so comfortable that you can even wear it when exercising without compromising the safety. Now that we have the basic shape, let's put on the elastics. We have pre-cut and tied elastic, but it's an 18 inch long piece of elastic tied together to form a loop. You will place one end of the loop on the edge of the mask and fold it up. Now sew so you are enclosing the elastic and repeat on the other side. 
with the same elastic. Now you have your 3D mask. Please make sure that you check out our website linked below and subscribe for more mask videos. Thank you.